All right. Yo, yo, everybody. Back with the Suzuki TRS. I got a carburetor kit, and I'm going to install this one. It's going to be a pretty much rebuilt carburetor. I'll show you real quick what comes in this kit. Of course, one handed for you. So we have pretty much everything. This is unopened. We got new gasket, springs for the choke. We got the main jet. I don't even know what that screw is for. Yeah. I hear guys coming to ask for money. And I think it's a donation. Doing some type of, you know, traditional lion dance around the store. It's you know, a nice seat. Enjoy it. You know, earlier Will, he just found something. It's so interesting because in the package, I thought there was missing an O-ring for the for the one of the main nozzle. And then after about five minutes, you know, he's working on the bike over there and I'm over here. He says, hey man, there's a O-ring here. And I said, what the heck? How does that could have happened? You know, the O-ring he gave me, it looked like it fit the nozzle perfectly. And turns out to be there was a bag. I mean, the bag was torn. Crazy, right? The bag had a slight torn. So I was like, wow, what's the chance of that? All right, so that's what happened. Got the can out of the way and it's out of there. I just connected the fuel line, the vent tube, and you just pull this thing out. Get a good hold of it, and that's it. And he's out. Oh, I got the two key. Try that out. And there it is. It comes right out. And I got the lower, lower tube as well. Boom. There it is. And it's out. Completely out. That's all there is to it. And removing the carburetor. Now we remove the choke because the choke is tied up to that top rubber part. And then remove the needle. And that's what you get. And there's a there's a washer up there. Right now I'm gonna remove the float and we'll start replacing stuff and blow it out. Alright, this is probably gonna take like a 30 minute, you know. It's like a 30 minute job. I got the carburetor out, removing the float, bowl, fuels normally in there, put that aside. And then over here we got the float, all you gotta do is just tap it. If it's not coming out this side, you flip it and you tap tap it, tap it and the pin should come right out and the float come out with the needle or in this case the needle is here okay so that's the needle this is the float I mean I'm sure most of you know this already and then in here is where you have all of your metering system you want to say passages we're going to take out the main jet okay you got to get the right screwdriver if it doesn't fit don't force it in there it's not worth stripping these 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 jets all right and then again for the small one you need a really small screwdriver i'll be back screwdriver flathead and we'll get in there moving the pilot and that should come right out shouldn't be tight you know there we go and this is the pilot we got the main jet i already loosened it This is the main jet tip. And then we're gonna remove the, this is the fuel jet nozzle. Put that in there. And then this thing, sometimes it comes out and out of, this one can also leak around here. Let me go get a plier. We're gonna pry this thing out. Twist it up, twist and pull up, there you go. Now, this is what I was talking about. When this seal or rubber O-ring starts going, you can't get proper metering of fuel. So change that. I kind of got ahead of myself. 
and I'm glad I didn't do that. And this thing is just, it's pressed in from the top. It's completely clean. Oh, remove the idle screw. And the idle screw also comes with a spring. Remember, everything's going to be completely replaced. But I will also, what I'll do, stay tuned. I'll show you what I also do when you're replacing stuff like this. And then we got to remove the, the main, the air screw. screw we got everything out now there's a spring in there make sure there we go make sure you get the spring out of there all right it's completely assembled now the gasket here because it comes with a new one if this is still looking good leave it there man you don't have to pry it out leave it there and just put it on top I'm gonna go clean this and I'll be back Okay, now almost in reverse, what you could do, what I was saying earlier is, once you get all of this out, right, always match it, always match it to the old parts, okay, because that's going to at least give you an idea about, okay, why it was running crap, the gasket, now we're going to reverse, you don't have to completely reverse it, but put whatever you can in as you go, I got the air screw, this is the air screw, I'm going to turn you a little bit. Right, this is the air screw. It goes in the front. Oh, wait. Don't forget the springs. Remember that little spring that came out? Okay, that's the spring here. Now, what I told you earlier, I want to match everything. Okay. Now, it doesn't come with a float. This is You have to reuse this. So make sure you don't mess this up. That's the original float. The old spring is here. Now look at this, okay, now some things I don't want to change because of, look at the quality of that, okay, and you want to make sure sometimes it's the OEM stuff that is in your car might be the better one. So like this one, I'm going to keep the old spring, which is that, so this is the new one, I'm going to throw it in the, in the bowl there, I'm not going to use that, and that's one thing I'll put in, I'm going to use the old spring, and then, let's do it. Air screw, let's just go ahead and get it all the way in. Okay. And then, okay, let's get the choke. I see the choke. And the choke is, oh wait, the choke is on the bike. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that aside. Let's put this, let's put the main, now this main jet here, okay. I don't know. Don't will. Pokey one, my child, and a young man. Let me go and figure out what this man. Okay. All right, I just consulted Will about the O ring, and that was it. It was so tiny, man. I mean, it looked, the new O ring looked like it was going to go over this thing, right? And it fit in the new nozzle. So that's that. I haven't pressed it in yet. I just put in the pilot. Jet. I put a new one in, the old one is in the bucket. You want to put the idle, the idle, this is the old idle, you want to measure this, make sure it's the same. And this looks like it's been, it's fairly new, but I am going to replace it anyways. Okay? Because these are worn out, they, want, they wear out. And again with the spring, I'm going to look at the old and the new. See if okay, it looks pretty identical. So I'll continue putting the new one on this one. And that's gonna go in there. Okay, we're gonna okay, the nozzle here. I'm gonna press this thing in. Now it might help putting a little bit of oil here so you don't damage the O-ring. So I'm gonna go get some oil and I'll press this in like that and then we put the lockdown which is from the old one doesn't come with the new kit so hang on to that and the screw and right, I'm back I got it in pressed it in it wasn't so hard make sure you got this there's a little bit of a bent that will help keep that nozzle in and then screw that
Drop that in. The float. Now the float on this bike is good. I'm not having any problem with overflowing of the fuel. So I am going to keep the same setting with the new needle. Now the old needle in this, you can obviously see there's somewhere. There is somewhere here. Alright. And we're going to keep that as a spare part. It's still usable if anyone ever need it. But we're going to put the new new needle in there because you have a new nozzle and then we'll throw the float same setting got the pin all right now that's good and then the gasket is in the pilot is in the needle the floats everything is in all right everything is ready to be in place all the pins for the nozzle is all there floats working the way it should okay now i just got the choke and we should be good the needle is already in now the needle in the old one was really off but let's not get too happy we got to get this thing installed all right, I got it all wired up. I just got to get all of the hoses connected. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. All right, it's time for the startup. I think I got everything in there. Although I don't got the idle yet and the air screw. Actually, let me set the air screw real quick. I got lum down there. Song ah. Song kung ah. Lop kung. All right, he said to do one and a half. Air screw, half, one, one and a half. That should get us in the bar park. Oh wait, let me check the idle again. Get that up just a tad. There we go. There we go. All right, got that started. Let's see. Make sure she's not in gear. And I was pretty darn good, man, just for startup. We're gonna get that up just a tad. Let's go with a quarter turn. for another half and just see. Okay, we did one and a half turn on the air screw. Got everything covered up as it should be. Now let's see. Startup is good. Let's see here. Okay, with the help of Will getting me the carb rebuild kit, we're at a good base and the tune, I think it's a little bit rich, but it's better to be rich than lean, right, in this case. And although I do, I am rich in the pocket, I'm not. <laughs> but the bike is sounding good. I think it's a good start with one and a half turns out on the air screw, we're gonna ride it. And we'll just go from there. So good luck with your car rebuild. If you need help, come to the boys here. 
you know, Will got you. All right. And until next time.